welcome back. We're at Sprout Coburg in the gallery at Sprout Coburg here in Providence. And we're with the artist who I'm going to let introduce herself. Hi, my name is Eva. I'm just using my first name. It's my last name doesn't feel like mine. <laughs> so uh, I am showing 15 oils and um, lead and water colors. Most of the oils are very new from 2019 and 2020. They are two old ones from ancient times. Here one, another one which is brown. I can get to it later. Uh, well, starting with this beautiful piece, I love it. It's um, the subject is from uh, actually Buddhist tradition. It's the whole world is a single flower. That's how I call it because I kind of see a flower here. At least I'm imagining. I, I really paint abstract, and then I figured out what I painted. All right. The most important part of my pieces is carving this huge. It's 48 by 72. The birth of the new universe. I spent over a month painting it, but it was worth it. It has layers and layers of oil paints. It's very easy to see oil paints that are so masculine. Like they're usually so much glossier than this. Well, it's all kinds of all kinds of because here it's basically more like the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, and then there are layers of them. And the reason why they are usually very kind of bright because some artists put varnish around them. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I just like the texture and kind of different ways of painting, but I don't put entire one varnish around. So, you know, so, so it's basically an individual style. It gives them a real sense of depth, though. Yeah, I think it's all Yes. And my favorite part of this planet up, up there, right here, how it goes into the space. So it feels like it's connected. There's also the infinite eight mm -hmm. in it as it's a cosmos. <laughs> Beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about this flag right here? Oh, I love this one. I'm quite enthusiastic about my work. Mm -hmm. um, this one is the planet Earth in my eye. So there's the shape of an eye. And since I love nature, I love hiking. That's why it, it's the green part, but also the planet has the colors of water, streams, and green, and then some humanity in it. <laughs> All right. A lot of paintings, so we can explore them. This one is a rider, watercolor. It's abstract, except. There is some feeling of it, of a riding, a rider on some creature with a little chicken on it. <laughs> so cute. Yes, painting should be fun, so we paint chickens. Here's another creature, I hope from another galaxy. The lines are so crisp. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, yes, they are very different than oils. Mm -hmm. Somehow, watercolors, people think that many watercolors are very flow. Right. For me, it's very defined technique. Mm -hmm. I can do flow, but it's really honestly, that's how I love it. And I use a specific paint which I bring from Holland, from Europe, um, called Ecoline. It's almost inks. It's watercolor, but it's almost inks. So that's why it's so intense. Mm -hmm. It's just a different paint. But I, I really like painting this side. But most of my, actually all of my oils are cosmos, universe. It's like, you know, flying, spreading, and experiencing. And then watercolors, they are more earthy. 
they are more defined, they, they, they have structure and they have boundaries. So here's another oil which I called Knife. I did paint customs, but I think it ended up as underwater image. Colors are stunning. Thank you. Also, experimented a little bit with the brush work from really good, beautiful brushes to killing them at the end and enjoying scratching that surface with damaged brush. But you get interesting effects this way. <laughs> They look like eyelashes. <laughs> sure. So I would like to have two smaller paintings from the beginning of last year. There was there was one more which happened before those two, but it got sold, so it's not here. But that specific one was my breakthrough. It felt like that. I started from kind of painful process and it became just, just easy and fun. They are all so the one to the left is just cosmos and this one is universal symphony. <laughs> nice names, right? Amazing names. This one is a watercolor. It's I call it meditation because there is an image of meditating person in a shape hidden in the shape of heart. See the overall shape is this heart, but then there is a person inside, and all together it feels like peace and meditating. Okay, we can we can move here. Two, two more. So this one is Blue Moon. And this painting was just a pleasure, pleasure to paint. It, it came so easy. I was in a, in a state of a flow and I just experienced just only pleasure. And I was surprised how quickly I painted it. So I spent more time thinking is it done or not done than actually painting? <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Is it just instinct? How you decide when a painting is done? It feels internally right. It's mm -hmm. like a feeling, inside of feeling. If I feel true harmony, then it's done. But some of them, I don't get to the point immediately. Like there is this here down the, the twin moon, the orange red. I spent so much time repainting it because it just didn't feel like it, it was correct, but it was finished. So until I had this feeling, okay, now it's harmony, composition, volume, color, that's all right. I just keep painting. This is how I do it. So this room has oh, awesome <laughs> <laughs> paintings. This one is Central Sun. And that's, if I didn't limit colors in some of them, they would all have all the colors, like this one. They would all have movements, they would all have vortexes. Because I just, just love painting this way. And it's big, it's 72 by 48 inches. I just want to remind our viewers that if you have any questions for the artist, feel free to put them in the comments. We are reading them as we go live right now. Yes, we are. Do you mind speaking just a little louder? Okay. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So this painting, I called it Unconditional Love. I tried to restrict it to certain colors which felt warm and inviting. And there is also some pearlescent white so off white with some shine to it as i thought that the energy of love has certain frequency and looks certain way so that one is also huge 72 uh, 48. 
how do you decide what painting like gets what size canvas? Or do you start with a canvas size and figure out the painting as it's, you go? It's, I buy, see, this is all linen and that's big. So I decided that now it's time to expand. So I bought several of them at once. And then, see, it's really wonderful to, to do the canvases because there is no feeling of restriction. You kind of like express yourself. <laughs> And you can move your arm however you want, and you're still within the painting. Mm -hmm. It's a very pleasant feeling. There are some paintings hidden in this room. So there is this one, which is hieroglyphs, by <clears throat> influenced by ancient Egyptians, except it's my version of little creatures. All kinds of creatures. Very joyful. That that was a pleasure to paint. And that one is a goddess, as probably everybody can tell. Very powerful female figure. Somebody commented and would like to know when did you know that painting was your passion? Since I was a little child. I thought that the most wonderful thing one could do in life is to be a painter. It's just then I didn't have, see what happened later, I lived in Poland and in Poland it's so many people wanting to be artists that I didn't have actually that self-esteem. So I studied architecture instead. But when I moved to the United States, I had this idea that here, of course, it's the land, you can do whatever. And I went to art school, so I actually followed my dreams in New York City. I went to School of Visual Arts and I became professionally what I kind of always was because I always had this art within me. Because since I was very young I, I painted, always painted. I still have some very old things my mom was so kind and saved. Um, so that's that's wonderful. Well, thank you for this question. Of course. Someone also asked, um, would you offer murals for people's homes? I could. I could because it's, we would have to negotiate on the subject. I happen to be good with realistic and abstract because since I have a professional background, we did so many anatomy classes and models that I kind of multi-talented here yeah. <laughs> with art, not with uh, some other things like cooking. <laughs> we are running out of time, so if there's just one more work, if uh, that's possible for you to Maybe focus that on. one, because it's so joyful. How about this one? It's a watercolor, but it's kind of fun because it's not only I painted the mats, but I also do, did some silly things with hanging people and playing people and a horse and so beautiful All right, well thank you so much for joining us tonight um and viewers stay tuned because there's still one more facebook live video going up so keep watching have a good night